Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me for another grocery haul. Thank you for clicking on to watch what I am going to be buying today. I had to get out to take my daughter to the metro station. And whenever I do that, I always, always like to come to the grocery stores in the area where the metro station is. That is because they are all right here together. I'll be going into Giant, Trader Joe's, and also Whole Foods. And like I said, they're right here together. And as I get out and I um, show you, I will pan around to show you how close they are in relation to ship to each other. And so also they have placed a new container store here. And so I'm going to dip in there as well. And um, if I get something from the container store, I'll be sure to show you what I pick up. Keep watching. <music> The first place I went to was the salad bar. Everything looked so fresh and delicious, but I didn't get a salad. So I went on around to where the hummus is. There weren't any great deals near the hummus, but I still wanted to take a peek. The Sabra here was not on sale. My favorite is actually the boar's head. After that, I walked on around to the cheeses. The cheese section in Giant is massive. So I just looked around a bit and then I was really looking for the smoked Gouda and then I ended up finding it. So I grabbed that. It was on sale at a very, very good price. I also picked up the halloumi cheese here. Again, this is my daughter and I. This is our favorite cheese. Next were the cherries. Excellent, excellent deal. If you spend $25, you get those cherries for $1.99. Giant was having some amazing deals today on their clip and coupon deal. The chicken you saw me pick up at the beginning of the um, video was only $5.99 and it was really, really good. Just walking past the delicious looking vegetables here. Didn't pick up anything. Didn't really need anything. So here I am checking out of all of the things that I picked up. My price was $38.53. After the container store, I headed on down to Whole Foods. Those are the containers I picked up for my classroom. I'll talk about those a little later, but I just panned on around to look at all of the fresh vegetables. Those of you who have Whole Foods or no Whole Foods knows that everything is usually really, really fresh. First thing I picked up was this broccolini. I had a true vision for the broccolini. It looks so, so delicious. It was $2.99 for that bunch. And so the next place I ended up walking around to was the salad area. I didn't pick up anything here either. Didn't really have a taste for a salad. Then I went around to the frozen section and picked up this Boom Boom shrimp. We absolutely love this shrimp. And then from there, I went and picked up the Cotija cheese. We love this on our Mexican corn. And I like that it was already grated. Okay, everybody, I have made it back from my adventures at those different stores that I pointed out. For everything you see here on the table, it was a total of $117.93. And I had a goal of not spending more than $100, which I kind of stuck, stuck with when it came to the stores that I showed you. I did end up going to Marshall's and I bought some personal care items as well as some food items. So I'm just including that in the haul. So let's start right here with Giant. At Giant, the total was $38 and change. And so here's what I picked up. They had on their digital deal an eight piece dark chicken for $5.99. 
So I picked that up. They also had the cherries for $1.99 per pound. Now the chicken and the cherries were on the deal where you had to spend uh, $25 before you could get the deal. And so I had more than enough to pick up um, to get that deal, I had more than enough for $25. Like I said, it was $38 and change. So you're looking at here, this is $4.72 worth of cherries. I also picked up the bubbly drinks here. They were 10 for 10, so I picked up a tropical punch, a watermelon lime, and a triple berry. I've tried the watermelon lime, which is really, really good. I haven't tried the other two. Also, I'm gonna skip over these uh, chips because or the cheese crunchies because I picked those up from Whole Foods, not Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna actually move those over here. So back to Giant. Now, everywhere I went, there was something that was a little extra. Um, so therefore, even though it's not much here, the price was high because of that certain item. And for Giant, it is this halloumi cheese. This particular halloumi cheese is $13.99. Then I also picked up the smoked gouda. This is for going back to work. I like to have the smoked gouda and pretzels or smoked gouda as just a side. You cube it up and um, it just tastes so, so good. This, oh, it smells so good. It smells just like a smokehouse. So I picked that up. It was on sale for $2.67. Then I also picked up um, four quick meal. They were on sale for $5.49. So this is everything you see from Giant. And speaking of a little hungry, I did eat two pieces of chicken when I got back to the car. I ate two pieces of chicken before I headed into Trader Joe's and Whole Foods because I knew that I was gonna go crazy in spending money because by the time I left Giant, I was really, really hungry. So now, let's move on across to Whole Foods. At Whole Foods, I spent a total of $29.45. And it's just for this one, two, three, four items. So yeah, this was about $30. So, here is what I got from Whole Foods. The oven ready boom boom shrimp. Then I needed more cotija cheese. This is already um, processed, not processed, but it's already grated. So I picked that up, that was $2.99. The broccolini was $2.99. And also this ginger drink I wanted. This was on sale for $3.19, and it's really, really good. It's called Honey Soda, and its uh, name of it is Ginger Buzz. It has real uh, ginger and honey and coriander in it. It is so delicious, only 60 calories for the whole bottle. So now let's go to, well, before we leave Whole Foods, I did take a picture of a bowl that I wanted to use to um, cook this boom boom chicken or boom boom shrimp. And I'm going to insert a picture in of that bowl that I'm going to try to recreate for my husband and I. And it does involve the broccoli as well. Now we're moving on to Trader Joe's. At Trader Joe's, I spent $22.17, and this is what I picked up. My standard basmati rice, this is $2.99. The Thai ga shrimp gyoza um, was $3.99, I believe. Uh, let's see, nope, it was $5.49. Then the mandarin orange chicken that you see in everybody's haul that goes to Trader Joe's. I picked that up. That was, let's see, the mandarin chicken was $4.99. The Kung Pao, which is really good as well, that was $5.99. And then the baked crunchies, you can see I 
gotten into those already. I ended up eating those after I ate the chicken or not after I ate it, but when I went into Trader Joe's and came back to the car, I ate some of those on the way home. And so, yeah, this is $22.17. Now to the container store. This is not grocery, but I did show you that I was going to drop out of the container store. Didn't pick up much. Only spent $15.08 in there. And I picked up two, con two one container, um, one of this size container. This one was $3.48. And then these two small containers were $1.38. And so, like I said, I picked those up for my classroom. Then the last thing I picked up was this office accessory kit um, for my classroom as well. Push pins, clips. Um, I really, really like the small clips and then rubber bands. I picked that up. This was $7.99. And I really like also the organizer, the container that it is in. So I thought it was worth the price. Now, let's go on around here to Marshall's. At Marshall's, I was blown away with the coffee syrups and the um, drink mixes and all of that. They, had, they were, had just marked these things down, and so I couldn't pass them up. First thing I picked up was this Bamba calabrese chili and veg veggies sauce it looks so good i was imagining this on a baked potato it just looks really really good um this was on clearance for two dollars then we have the chateau diana this is a california blend um, type wine however the al alcohol has been removed this was on clearance for two dollars then the salted caramel coffee syrup was on clearance for $1. And the Cosmopolitan cocktail uh, mix-in was on clearance for $0.70. Cents. And yes, guys, these are all still very good dates. As you can see, this one is good until December 2026. All of them have really good dates. The lady was telling me that they're clearing all of this stuff out. And I mean, they had about 30 bottles of different kinds of things they were clearing out. They were clearing it out because they were bringing more in. So they had to get rid of what was already there. And then this one is a white blend. This one is a red blend. So again, for my people who come over and visit my house and we're just sitting around and you know, I thought this would be a good option on my bar for those of uh, people who don't drink. So I picked that up. Then a couple of personal items for Marshalls. I picked up this exfoliating body scrub. This was on clearance for $3. And then this is like in a vanilla oatmeal scent. So I like that. And then I also picked up this face sunscreen by Aveno. This was on clearance for $2. All right. So everyone, I went on an adventure today. This was really not anything that I needed, but basically what I wanted. And so sometimes it's just like that, um, especially when I'm in that area where everything is all together and I can just basically just take my cart and walk from one place to the next. So, this is everything. Stay tuned for what meal I'm going to prepare to show you on the end. And I will probably have a meal plan. The last week I didn't have a meal plan. But I'm finding that it is much easier now to sit down and make the meal plan right away from the groceries that I pick up. I'm, I'm really loving that. All right. Keep watching. Okay, everybody, here is the meal that I put together. This is the Boom Boom Shrimp. And also, I have it on top of that Basmati rice from Tra Trader Joe's. You can see it down in there. The broccoli broccolini from Whole Foods. And um, just some carrots to the side. I wanted to recreate that picture. 
This looks so delicious. It came together so nicely. I ended up roasting the broccolini in my toaster oven. I put my rice in my rice cooker, put my boom boom shrimp in my ninja oven, and I just opened a can of carrots and seasoned them with a touch of salt. The sauce that you see on here is boom boom, uh, is a boom boom sauce recipe that I got off of Google. I just Googled it and didn't even measure anything. It's made up of mayo, ketchup, sweet chili sauce, um, some hot sauce, and with seasonings, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. And when I tried it, it was so delicious. So yeah, this is what I'm having. And for my drink, I'm having just my um, ice water out of my, uh, uh, not Stanley cup, but this particular cup. All right, everybody. Oh, can't wait to dig in. Here is our menu for the week. On Monday, we're gonna do cheeseburgers, fries, and a salad. Tuesday, we're gonna have wings and mac and cheese. And actually, I'm gonna switch Tuesday and Wednesday. On Tuesday, we're gonna have the carne asada tacos. And then Wednesday, we're gonna have the wings and mac and cheese. Then we're gonna do big fish on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are also gonna be switched. On Friday, we're gonna eat out. And on Saturday, um, we'll probably do leftovers. And then on Sunday, I'm gonna do the boom boom shrimp and bowls again. We already had it one time, but it was so good that we're gonna recreate it again on Sunday. I hope you can catch some ideas from this, everyone. Thank you, thank you for, so much for watching this video. I tried to make it a little bit more entertaining. I know some people like that, and I know some people like to get straight to the grocery haul. But anyway, this is what I have for this week. Thanks for leaving a comment, for subscribing, for watching the video. And with that, everybody, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week. Bye-bye.